Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Medieval Dynasty. First of all, you want to make sure that you're removing the game mode from your computer. So just search for the game mode. Make sure that game mode is at off. Make sure that your Xbox game bar is at off. And make sure that all those capture background recording and recorded audio are at off. For the game mode, I did a couple of tests. It's causing stuttering, so really important to remove it. Also, uh, really important, make sure that you remove all those overlay that you're currently using, Discord overlay, and video overlay, Steam overlay. I, also, I feel like uh, the Discord one was causing me issue with the game, so make sure that you don't use any overlay. And also make sure that you update uh, your driver for the latest one. I know a lot of people are using the Intel uh, graphic card, the Integrate Video card, and uh, they don't do like update. Don't just use the search here, uh, the, the update from Windows. Really like go in the Intel website and download the latest one. Really important. Uh, one more thing, GPU, right GPU in the search, graphic setting over there, uh, click on to the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, I have a dedicated video on that, you really need the latest version from Windows 10, so the version is 2004, and also you need the latest driver from Nvidia, I don't think it's working right now on AMD, I feel like it's coming like really soon, but uh, nobody, like I did a test on my RX uh, video card and I didn't see it, so that's about it. Uh, so really important, do that and it will help you a lot. You will need to uh, restart your computer if you didn't check it first. So now uh, we will go inside of the game. Uh, I will show you what to change graphic parameter. After that, we will go in the uh, config file. We have a couple of tweaks that we can do over there. The game is not well optimized right now. Uh, it's like using 9% of my CPU and my GPU is getting at 72 degrees when normally it's like running at 62, 63. So something is a bit odd with the game. So uh, yeah, let's go inside of the game. So now the graphic parameter. Uh, first of all, go to settings after that graphic. And now you will have all the graphic parameter that you can change inside of the game. We will do this over there and after that we will go in the config file because you have a couple of other stuff that you can tweak in the config file. So really important, the window mode play uh, full screen, really like just use this one, the other one are broken, I had like some crazy stuttering and stuff like that. So make sure that you're using full screen. Resolution really depend on your monitor, so just go with the resolution that you normally use. If you don't get your 60, uh, you can definitely lower the resolution, it will help you a lot. V-Sync I recommend off in, for this game and just limit your frame rate with the number of hertz of your monitor. So for an example, you have 144 hertz, go with 144. If you have a 60 hertz screen, go with 60 FPS. View distance, this one is a bit tricky. Uh, depending on the place where you are in the map, I have like different results. <laughs> so uh, the game is not well optimized right now. So for me, like when you start the game, if you compare low to ultra, I didn't have like a big difference in my FPS, maybe two or three. And normally view distance is a big, uh, it's a big thing. Like if you compare ultra to low, normally you can get like 15% in your FPS boost. But in this game, it's not that much. So go with something with medium. I feel like it's the more balanced one. Pretty much the same thing with anti-aliasing, not a huge deal. Like two FPS for each bracket. Low looks really like shit, honestly. So just go with medium. And I, di I didn't see a big difference between low and medium in my FPS, but I see a big difference in my image quality. Post-processing, just go with I. Uh, the really important one is shadows. Go with low. If I compare low to ultra, I'm getting like 15% boost in the FPS. So this one, it's like, it's, it's the key. You really need to go with low for this one. Texture, it really depends on your VRAM. So if you have four gig and more, go with ultra. If you have a 3 gig of VRAM I, 2 gig medium, and less than 2 gig, go with low. Effect, go with medium. I did the comparison between medium and I, and I was not too sure. Um, it, uh, sometimes like I'm getting like crazy stuttering with I, and it's not like you're getting more FPS, but it's like your game is more stable. And I didn't see, again, not a lot of difference between low and medium, so that's why I'm staying at medium. Foliage has a decent impact if you compare ultra versus low, you can get 7 to 8% boost in your FPS. But uh, you will see that foliage at low doesn't really look good. So like you can test something like medium, you will lose 3% uh, 3 of your FPS if you compare to low, but your image quality will uh, improve a lot. So that's about it for the graphic uh, setting inside of the game. Now let's go to the config file. So now for the config file, you need to go to your C drive, users, the name of your computer, app data, local, medieval dynasty, 
Save, Config, and Windows No Editor. After that, you need to open the file called Game User Setting, double click on it, and you will have all your graphic parameter that you changed already in your game. The one that is not inside of the game is the shading quality, so make sure that the shading quality is at one, really important, and also make sure that your uh, HDR display output are, is at false. So that's about it for the config file. After that, make sure that you save, click X, and after that, you really need to block the file because you don't want the game to override what you just did. So right click on it, go to properties, click read only mode, and press OK, and now your file will be locked. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!